reveal her spider family tree. These baseline studies are crucial for further research on its ecological role, lifestyle and venom. That really makes it, takes it right out of sterling iron, probably makes it a new species. You must check into that. Stuart Douglas not only breeds his tarantulas for the pet market, he also milks their potent venom for medical research. There's a number of procedures, but the one I like to use is the anaesthetisation and uh, electric stimulation technique. And I anaesthetise them with carbon dioxide. I find that you get a lot more uh, venom yield from that technique. Um, and it's a lot more, less damaging to the spiders. A lot of people out there actually cut the glands out. And once you do that, the spider's dead, of course. Um, my captive bred one's mainly for venom sales. So every spider I lose is a great loss to me. In less than a minute, the spider lady is blissfully unconscious and Stuart quickly sets up for the milking. He's only got a couple of minutes before she'll wake up in a bad mood. Seated in a milking cradle, the spider's venom glands are stimulated by a slight electrical current. Carefully timed shocks to her fang base prompt the venom to flow. Tarantulas have been refining their toxins for millions of years, long before the dinosaur age. Their ancient venom could provide the key for major breakthroughs in human medicine. But it's still early days. There's a lot of problems with uh, venom collection, the slightest grain or hair in there, or sometimes the fang actually chips a little piece off and, and gets contaminated. So there's a lot of little tricks to it. It's not as easy as you make out, you know. But my company is uh, very confident that we, we will be finding something in the venom that we supply. Um, how long it takes and, and, and whether it'll actually be happening, you know, is up to the animals. And to the venom researchers, Analyzing the toxins is Dr. David Wilson from the pharmaceutical company Xenome. Tarantula venom is deadly to small mammals and can kill the family dog in less than 30 minutes. But despite common fears, it is not known to be deadly to us. We don't really know yet whether Australian tarantulas are all that dangerous to humans. We do know that they do cause periods of vomiting over several hours. Nobody's died yet, but there are so many species that just haven't been characterised yet that we really can't answer that question. What Dr Wilson tries to determine is whether the venom could lead to a new kind of drug, a radical new painkiller to treat cancer or AIDS without the current problems of addiction or tolerance. Such a drug would kick in when morphine can't help anymore. Xenome's team is the only one worldwide to explore the toxins of Australian tarantulas. US scientists have just developed a new heart medication courtesy of a South American species, and Chinese research teams are on the case as well. Rather than posing a deadly threat to us, tarantulas could save our lives. <laughs> 